Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm back for another Life is Strange video. And in today's video, my friends, we're going to be discussing about the original Life is Strange developers. Don't nod entertainment. And we're going to have to be used to something different now because Don't Nod had a lot to say in regards to their 14th birthday. And yesterday they tweeted the following. A little birdie told us that if you come back here tomorrow, you'll see some news from us and maybe even get some clues as to what we've been working on. So if you guys haven't been caught up to date, I've talked about this like a year ago that Don't Nod Entertainment was working on six new games the again a lot of question marks though in regards to what they be could they be related to the life is strange universe tell me why which was really successful vampire remember me even a twin mirror thing or these are just some of these could just be new ips so there were a lot of question marks and we'll talk about what they showed and what it means for the potential future of their company all right, so if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If we go for a thousand likes, this is my first Life is Strange video. It's been a couple months, guys, so if you want to be sure to do that for me, I greatly would appreciate it. Make sure you do subscribe with all notifications turned on. Join about the near 100,000 people to have all notifications turned on. And join about the near 50% of people that are subscribed by hitting that red subscribe button. All right, let me know what you think about this down below in the comments, and let's get straight into it. All right, so Don't Nod tweeted the following. Don't Nod turns 14, so we thought it was time for a fresh look. We have a new logo, website, and a way to spell our name to better reflect who we are to showcase the logo. We made a reel that you might want to watch. And we're going to play the reel right now. But, really quickly, look at Don't Nod. The name has also changed. I want to make that very clear. Don't Nod is no longer Don't Nod Entertainment. So instead of that, it is Don't D-O-N apostrophe, they add the apostrophe there, T, and then a space, and then not. And we'll explain what that entails, why they changed the name as well here in a second. All right, the clip. Alright, so for the people that are confused there, you might be looking at that, you're like, what the heck is that? So, I was expecting a new game announcement, but this might even be more significant than that. And why would that be? Even though it is nothing in particular or specific, it literally teases all six new projects coming from Don't Nod. Yes, though in 15 seconds, they were able to manage to tease all six of their new projects and potentially what the plot could be of those. And we're going to discuss that a little bit later in the video, but first I want to go through the website post that they did and explaining what this could mean for their future, the name change and all that. Don't Nod unveils a new visual identity. A brand new visual identity website to celebrate our 14th anniversary. Don't Nod, previously known as Don't Nod Entertainment, is celebrating our 14th year of creating meaningful narrative games. The company has evolved consistently since the beginning, and so we've undergone a visual rebranding as part of our evolution to better reflect who we are as a company today. It's an exciting time for us, and we wanted to share our excitement with you. We have produced a reel to showcase our new logo. It's an adapt adaptable so design and can be tailored to represent different game genres and universes, so it's a good job. We have several upcoming projects to test it out on, which they literally, again, those projects I showed literally like a minute or two ago in the video. New visual identity. The company has undergone lots of huge changes in recent years, namely the addition of our Montreal studio and our expansion to games publishing, which brings us around 320 talents in France and Montreal that benefit from our innovative Frog fully remote organization scheme. Dotnadians are all working in several human-sized teams and on six exciting upcoming internal projects. Ding, 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 right there. We self-publish most of our games as well as those of other developers by offering our support and bringing their creations to life. 
With this logo, we wanted to reintroduce the atmosphere and the space between the two words to truly embrace the meaning of don't nod. Don't nod is two words to represent our tendency to be non-conventional or to be non-conventional as a company and in the games we create. As in, we don't nod along to everyone else's tune. The D is shattered and the N appears within it, signifying that we're not afraid to break the mold We've known from, you know, whether it's Life is Strange, Tell Me Why, uh, Twin Mirror, there's other examples I give you. That they are not afraid, yes, definitely, to be different. The new logo links our games, meaningful, powerful stories with who we are as a company. Quote from Oscar Gobert, CEO of Don't Nod. I am very proud of the journey that Don't Nod has been over are been on over the past 14 years. The company has evolved in many ways with a strong will to lead the way in creating and curating meaningful entertainment, the original and relatable stories which empower our talents and players to inspire change. However, small, this new brand's visual overhaul will help us convey our core identity. And the brand new website, as you can see, we have also launched a brand new website to replace our previous one. We want this new site to connect us with you, whether you're a fan of our games, you want to work with us, step in the universe of all our games and access exclusive content behind the scenes snippets and the latest news, take a look around the studio and career pages you have also have some insight into who we are and how we work so and there's also a little community thing there but that is pretty much all the stuff so a big big thing there i'm not gonna lie the name change the new logo significant stuff but we're gonna go into that trailer snippet which really is the thing i think you guys are mainly here for the new games so let's get straight into that all right so there's seven pictures technically one of them already represents a game that's going to come out that they already revealed that i'll talk about uh very shortly here but so each one of these different variants of their logo is teasing a new game now look at their ips we've got life is strange but again i want to note this with life is strange it is super like the most unlikely because two reasons square enix owns the ip and them and Donut, I don't know if their relationship's better than what it was, but they currently, I don't think, are in connection. Obviously, they weren't, Donut was not involved in the Life of Stranger Master Collection and some other things, so it is unlikely that we will see anything Life of Stranger later from Donut for the foreseeable future. Never say never, of course, but I doubt any of these will be Life of Stranger. We'll have to see them. Tell me why. I definitely think one of them's gonna be Tell Me Why, too because that game was a success. And if you haven't already played it yet, please try it out. Twin Mirror, don't think they're going to do anything with that. We'll have to see. Vampire, remember me. Two other IPs, may, some of you guys may not know about those, but I think one of those two will also probably likely get a sequel. And then the rest of these are probably going to be new IPs. There's definitely going to be enough new IPs with these, I would say. All right, so I'm going to try my best to break these down. You guys in the comments will probably have some different ideas and better ideas than what I can come up with here, but I'm going to try to do these on the spot. I did a little research, looked up some things, and I'll try to do my best here. So the first image, we have a VHS tape with a pink and blue Don't Nod logo. You notice that also the apostrophe in there is light blue as well. I don't know. I took note that it also says, do not touch the tape inside to the side of the record just a actual regular tape to say play and a lot of people have brought up to me maybe this could be life is strange i even had someone bring up stranger things i'm like you know guys to be honest life is strange is probably not going to happen in any of these as i reiterated before but something with potentially a film i don't know this is kind of hard just to take a vhs tape and guess what it could be um but colors could represent maybe something I, I, I just kind of hard to guess what a VHS tape could really bring to a game but that's a little teaser all right the next one all right so this one looks a little more maybe tell me why maybe some new IP this one's got looked to be a forest in the winter with a bunch of fog surrounding with a bunch of symbols. Now, I don't know what these symbols mean. If somebody here somehow tries to look these symbols up, maybe let me know what they are. But this game's probably gonna involve, I heard someone say alien planet, um, you know, magic, a lot of possibilities here, but these symbols represent some kind of, I would say, 
supernatural element that will be introduced in this project. So, we're on to the next one. Now, this one has got stars. Orange and yellow, with it looks to be like maybe a river or something in the background, the universe, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but it seems like this game could be also in space. Other little minor symbols on the bottom, but I think this one draws a lot of intrigue for me just because of the color scheme. I like the colors in this one. And again, I've heard Remember Me potentially a sequel brought up in this one. Tell me why again. I don't know. A lot of question marks with this, but I think this one's going to be pretty special. I have a good feeling about this one. I don't know why. This one screams sci-fi, and I also saw them reply to a tweet about this one that, you know, put an eye emoji to this, saying that someone said it's going to be sci-fi. So I believe this one's space sci-fi related. You can clearly tell there's a planet right under all, you know, the air there in the space. So we've got a potential sci-fi title here, and I think this one also is going to be pretty special too. Now this one has branches. Could this represent a branching choice storyline game? It looks like there's like speech bubbles and all that. And I think this one could be maybe one with a bunch of different endings. It looks like it could be because you see all the, the pos possible outcomes in these lines. Again, just making an assumption with this. But I wouldn't be surprised. Then you've got this one. This one probably brings the most intrigue to me because you've got looks to be a mountain there with a rope maybe it's about you know in the sky so it looks like to be a rock climber potentially related game i don't know exactly what's going to be the situation but maybe the person's job the main character of this is going to be a rock climber we'll have to take an assumption on that but this one definitely has piqued my interest a bit all right so the last one shows snow this is already a game that has been confirmed not one of the six but it's called Gerda, A Flame in Winter, which is releasing on September 1st. Unfortunately, that game, I believe, is only on Switch and Mobile. I'm not certain if it's even on most platforms, but that's just a heads up. So, those are the six new games. The Gerda other one, that's like a seventh, that's an additional one, but those are the six. So let me know what you think of those teasers down below. We'll probably start hearing information, I would believe, in the coming months about some of these. There have been some emotional teases that Dona has been saying that reminds them of the original Life of the Stranger. So let me know what you'd like to see of these six games, old IPs, new ones. Um, let me know. So be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy this. Go for a thousand likes. And we've got a lot to discuss in the coming future. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.